Good morning. It's hot. You know, I think we are officially, it's safe to say we're past the comfortable window. Earlier this morning was a bit cooler out here. That's over. It is very warm out here. You can just kind of feel it, this omnipresence all around, you know, coming from everywhere. It's just very hot. But Angelinos know what to do. They know how to beat the heat. And the answer is, in the mornings, is just to get out early in the morning. And a lot of people did exactly that here at Lake Balboa. We had lots of people out here on the pathways all around the lake. They were walking, running, biking. Uh, lots of dogs out and about before it gets really warm. Everyone really enjoying those slightly cooler morning temperatures this morning. This late August heat wave has temps soaring into the triple digits as part in parts of the valley, inland and mountain areas, as we've been saying. We've got excessive heat warnings and advisories in Los Angeles, Ventura, Riverside, San Bernardino, and San Diego counties. Now, the LA County Department of Public Health is warning people to take this seriously. They're saying high temperatures are not just an inconvenience. They can also be dangerous and even deadly. People we spoke to this morning say they are ready to say goodbye to this summer heat and they say the best way is just to get out early in the morning. Listen here. I like to come early because of the weather, you know, like everybody else as you can see. So we like to come here early and then we do our stuff or, you know, we start walking around, you know, and have fun. Yeah, so health officials just urging everyone to take the proper precautions, you know, wear long sleeve clothing, wear loose fitting clothing, drink lots of water all throughout the day and stay inside when you can, especially during the midday when it gets really, really hot out there. There's also a lot of cooling centers all around the Southland. Those are available for everyone. We've actually got a full list on our website at foxla.com if you want to check that out. Just stay safe out there so we get through these last couple of heat waves, hopefully, of the summer and into those nice cooler fall temps. Chelsea. Looking forward to that, right? Chelsea, Chelsea, <laughs> just wondering why you're wearing long <laughs> sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, I didn't know I was going to be doing this this morning. We started on something else, and it's actually really light long sleeves as well. Ah. It's kind of, it's that loose fitting thing. It sort of works. Oh, okay. Kind yeah. of, but it's still hot. <laughs> loose fitting. Loose it's fitting. Key. No, it's true. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely All right. Key. You look good, though. So we'll I was just going to say the same. She looks fantastic. She looks really good. Always right? Right? Well, she's in the heat. All and of she it. She looks fantastic. Uh, good day, LA weather, sponsored by Pachanga Resort Casino. And yes, we continue with chat about the scorching temperatures. We are in this heat wave, but it's a mini one. We're expecting temperatures to slightly lower. It'll be a little less hot going into tomorrow. We're looking at 5 to 10 degrees above what's normal, courtesy of this big area of high pressure. It encompasses much of the southwest. Hot temperatures, again, will be part of the forecast cooler numbers, the area of low pressure is going to settle a little bit further south. That jet stream is going to dip a little bit further as well, bringing that cooler air. We'll get a little bit more of an onshore flow after Wednesday. So cooling trend Thursday and into your Labor Day weekend. It will be nice. It'll be more comfortable. Temperatures will then be below normal. So we're hot and dry today. We also are keeping tabs on the exact opposite. Hurricane Idalia continues to be very strong. You're looking at wind speeds now pushing 85 miles per hour. It's trajectory heading north, and then it's going to make a curve in the cone of uncertainty. Uh, as this hurricane is expected to rapidly intensify, it could make landfalls sometime within or at least the next 24 hours. And a good portion of the west coast of Florida under hurricane warnings and tropical storm warnings as well. We'll continue to watch, uh, again, Florida. Make sure you heed those warnings if you have family or friends that live in those zones. Temperatures back here at home, upper 70s, 90s, triple digit heat. Temperatures yesterday, Long Beach actually hit a, a high for the day of 97 degrees, beat the old record of 96 that was set back in 1995. Temperatures are going to be coming down. Look at that. Labor Day, 70s, mid-70s, and mid-80s. So there's that relief. Well, you know, uh, Aroxia, Sandra, maybe you go shopping to prepare maybe for the beach areas and experience the nice temperatures there. Nice sir, should I say.